It's what time? It's what time? I think he hates Biodome. Generic control in the deck goes be here back with another Nostalgia Critic video. Today we have Biodome by Nostalgia Critic, which apparently is one of the top 10 worst movies he has ever reviewed. Last week we did another one of these, which was Garbage Pail Kids. Oh my god, as a germaphobe, that movie was extra bad because it was so gross and sticky and just so just not what I like to see. You wanna check my reaction to that video? I'll leave it right up there. Here's a thumbnail down there if you wanna if you wanna see that. But today we have Biodome. I've never heard of Biodome. I literally just watched actually uh the the video that's no it's gonna be right over there and that side is gonna be the last uh, the previous video which was a uh, bird emic by um Jontron. That was another really bad movie. It, yeah, it's on par with like The Room by Tommy Wiseau. You can show my reaction uh, to the Garbage Pail Kids. I'll leave it right up there. If I don't know if I already pointed up to there or not. Also, link down below in the description. Also, in a playlist on my channel with all of my nostalgic critic videos. Somebody gave me the fantastic idea to um, make episode or my 100th nostalgic critic video, uh, Battlefield Earth. So, we have a couple more weeks until that. I think this is the 84th fourth nostalgic critic video i've ever done so we're a couple weeks away from that couple months and then we'll get into battlefield earth that'll be the 100 nostalgic critic video that i've done he knows i exist it's insane to me alfred follows me on twitter or in it's absolutely insane uh but this is actually a shorter video five years ago is probably a re-upload given the thumbnail i'm excited to jump in this let me know if the next video should be down below in the comment section i do read every single comment also these videos have probably the highest ratio of view to comments of any video on my entire channel like this video will have like less than 2,000 views but have like 130 comments when a video has like 3,000 views will have like 60 comments I have no idea why it's like that but you are very talkative so thank you for being here I hope you enjoyed the video hopefully it makes your day a little better let's go ahead and jump into biodome all right well I just watched bird Emic by John Tron so I don't know how where this stacks up no idea we have decided this information will not help the movie in any way. Hello. Yeah, this is, this is way older than five yeah, years. I, I fucking hate Biodome. I fucking hate Biodome. Why do you hate Biodome? Hate Biodome? I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Ah! Oh. Thank you. Anyway. Uh, that's not I good, good for the suit. I think he hates Biodome. I mean, oh, I don't think God. I've seen a more annoying and obnoxious piece of cancerous ass. <laughs> so grating and ear rapingly bad that I'm surprised the movie itself hasn't been arrested for indecent exposure. What it are they doing? The worst Why? Movie, but trust me, it's in the top five. Why is it called Biodome? This is the movie. These are my wrists after watching the movie. And these are the notes I took during watching the movie. Why? 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 I've never been so happy to get something over with, so let's just go ahead and get this over with. Okay. So the film stars appropriately enough by throwing its garbage at us. A oh, fitting metaphor. What? And this has, like, 1990s rent all over it, I'm pretty Baldwin, sure. Which honestly begs the question, how bad do you have to be to be listed under Polly Shore? The under Shore. I don't know who Polly Shore is. Letter until the story finally begins. The place is the Arizona desert. Here, a team of scientists and investors has come together to create the first space station on Earth. A self-contained world, a pure environment. Huh? Their mission will be to sustain life for one year while living what? in harmony with nature. With harmony with really nature? What do you mean harmony? Congratulations, Biodome 5, and good luck. Biodome so while that 5? Waste of time is going on, we cut to waste an even bigger waste of time. This playful scamp is named Squirrel, played by Squirrel. the devil's pubic hair himself, Polly Shore. Oh. Paper covers rock to lose a buckwheat. I want to commit felonies. The first line he says makes me want to lobotomize myself. We have to watch a whole movie with this anus. Now, for those of you who are young and have no idea who Polly Shore is... I'm 25. Good. <laughs> so let me so guess, so they're gonna get Doyle locked inside of it Stephen or something Baldwin like that. Plays another idiot named Doyle. Doyle. We live in Scroll that and wonderful Doyle. time of the 90s where stupid guys didn't really have to have jobs and yet somehow they live in relatively nice places. Like dude, where's my car? Oh, and also somehow date really hot chicks as well. Come on, are we really supposed to believe the 90s were like that? Were they? The 90s kid up. No, I don't they think they were. Like jobs because we're delightfully quirky. I don't... Houses and beds just drop All his features and quirks. But 90s, kid, there's gotta be some reason why lazy morons keep getting good stuff back then. Nope, that's just how we oh, roll. Oh, no, that's the song. What you see is what you... Oh, bad. What was that? 90s. Oh, it's probably just my landlord. What is it, the 30s knocking? Notice. And a battering ram. 
Oh. And a sawed off shotgun. Oh. Anyway, back to okay. the so I don't know who that guy was. Doyle spend most of the time hitting each other with books and explaining why it's smart. I can't believe you cracked those skull just to get out of this. I just don't understand. The book fell on him. The book I mean, fell the book, on him. He found the book. They collided. Bullshit. Bullshit. What is your voice? God, it is just like you two to try and weasel out of your responsibilities on Earth Day. Oh, Earth Day. By the way, yes, that is the lesbian with the funny voice from Chasing Amy. The only thing that gives me hope through all this is that she castrates Polly Shore and starts making out with the brunette. But I don't think the writers are smart enough to do something so stupid. Well, they're okay. getting better. They're taking yoga. Wait, how are we getting audio with the wind? How flexible blood is getting. There is something about a man who can lick his own back. What am I supposed to say to that? I don't, oh, how, how do you respond so to that? So it turns out these two are super environmental bimbos who want to help clean the environment for Earth Day. But their dumbass boyfriends have even more important things to do. Like being dumbass boyfriends. Did he just bite his toenail? And they're taking us out to this keg at Vasquez Lake. What? You met men? Oh, and they're on the swim team. Our girls have been seduced by breaststrokers. <laughs> <laughs> they got it. So they set out to find their girlfriends because they're afraid that they're gonna sleep with some breaststroke swimmers. Uh, uh, they should just retitle uh, 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 this movie uh, 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 Stupid White People Doing Stupider White Things. Well, check out that mall, man. Yeah. Must be the grand opening. It's not a mall. <laughs> Bio. That means it goes both ways. I don't know, but uh, we do. Uh, what? Never do that again for the law. They're gonna do it God. again. They're gonna do it again. So they get to the spot, only to find out that the ladies tricked them. There used to be fish here, remember? What no? Yes, I did, Doyle. A long time ago, when we were kids, right? I mean, weren't there fish everywhere, technically? If there was. Oh, how to hold his coming oh, waterboarding. Much better, bud. Now let's try. Oh, actually, they're just drowning. Actually. Yeah, you tried to tell a joke. You get a vast, empty void of silence. So as they start to head back, they come across the biodome, which looks more like bio Pringles cans. As yeah. the five scientists get ready to head inside. Yeah, and Wait, they're going to get inside with them my somehow, team. and they're going to be trapped in there for a year. Wait, you need an oceanographer in a control culturist? That's Miss October. In fact, only two of these people look like real scientists. The rest look like fashion models. How phony is that? Haven't you seen any movies? Why do you need an oceanographer? Lab coats and messed up hair, like Doc Brown, played by Christopher Lloyd. That was a scientist. Christopher Lloyd. These guys are GQ so cops. They're insult to movie scientists everywhere. I, what would Christopher what? Lloyd say? I don't know. That's oh, good to know. I was frozen that what? Oh, by the by, does this head scientist look familiar to you at all? I'll tell you what's hazardous. Is that the Red Skull? Prosecution for at least a half a dozen environmental That's Ghostbusters, I'm pretty sure, right? It's Walter Peck from Ghostbusters. I did the epic rap battle of history today. God, that was hours ago when I recorded that video. I literally recorded that video. So squirrel and Eight Doyle hours ago. sneak their way in to take a piss while the Dude, Nazi Wednesday from the Blues Brothers seals the biodome up with the scientists inside. But wait a minute. There's two oh, people no. that don't belong there. They're not supposed to be Oh there. no. I smell shenanigans. Or in their case, shit shenanigans. Get them out now. No. The doors are sealed for one year. I can't yeah, open the doors. Yeah, they're not going to open Because if I open the doors, the integrity of all the scientific data is compromised. Is this true? Yes, it's true. Wait. He's in this? this man has no dick. Adding to more at this stage was where the whole system Wait. of balance. Oh, but I don't think he's in this system. movie. Well, a doubt. Ah, yes. Let's go over this again. They can either just open the door up and let them out, simply starting the countdown over again. Oh, he's sorry. I didn't throw my water bottle. These idiotic time bombs stay inside and most likely destroy everything. What did these morons study before this? The environmental impact of Bigfoot? <laughs> so because space is tight, they had to have them stay in the janitor's closet, where the idea for this movie probably should have stayed. For the blanket. Wait, Children's so blanket. they're in the janitor's closet? <laughs> oh good, I just Drugs. heard the soundtrack to my night terrors for the next few weeks. Just laughing. <laughs> I want to commit crimes. Squirrel and Doyle find they can't just stay confined to one room. So it's raping time. It's what time? It's what time? <laughs> yeah, 
We're rapists and adulterers. <laughs> Weren't they? Or is this the whole thing happened because they worried about their girlfriends? So yeah, sleeping with the majority of the movie is just these guys being around douche monkeys as the audience scratches their heads trying to figure out what's supposed to be funny about it. <laughs> Has anyone ever noticed that Pauly Shore is to white people what Jar Jar Binks is to black people? I have to say, I'm I don't offended. get that. So, why um, why is Jar Jar Binks a racial, racial huh? thing? I know it's apparently... <laughs> Like that. Hey, that's the best performance in the movie. Finding Polly Shore funny. That is no mm. easy task. Hey, wait, yeah. wait. Okay, maybe I'll show you some other maneuvers later. Uh, Eventually, they, this is like a, a year long vacation. Listen, maybe you're not aware of it, but we're a vital part of the homeo system. Don't you oh, think your couch is having withdrawals? Don't you think you should get back to your Jennifer Taylor impersonation? We gotta go. Bye. What do you mean you have to go? What do you have Bye. to do? There's nothing y'all have to do. They're literally freeloading on this experiment. Oh, yeah, oh I thought I was about to about say what? Ta oh. I am so fat. No, you're not. No, <laughs> Nobody you're not. likes you. me. Beautiful. People didn't like me in high school. Everybody loves you. Oh, thank you. You know, I think this film is the hot pockets of movies. Nothing I've never had a hot pocket in my life. Diary. I've never once had a hot box in my life. Hot one, hot two. What? Why? You didn't hike the ball to anybody. You just ran at him. Really bad YouTube videos, you see. You know the ones where two dickheads do dickheadish things while one dickhead laughs at the other dickhead while that dickhead gets hurt but Sally's and crippled for life. That's this movie. What are, they, yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? This film hurts me. Good afternoon, Petri dish. Allow me to present it. Chateau Squirrely Stub. It's a bit plucky. So that's what happened to our fruit harvest. The fruit, they, they, when they made a smoothie? <laughs> and they're stamping on <laughs> their... Do they have a hot tub now? I feel like they're not supposed to be in that. Okay, these two were dropped. Either that, or they're some kind of special needs kids, but there's what no way these are here? normal functioning people. Especially if they think that this shit is funny! We gotta take uh, what? Also, what is the whole mission here? If the whole mission is just to be there, like, self-sufficient for a year? Sir, if a doctor came up to me and said I had a bad case of Pauly Shore and Stephen Baldwin, I'd cut off my head with a fork! <laughs> fork. Damn it, damn it, damn it. And by the way, this is it. This is all they show for like 45 is minutes. Is them Once making while, everyone else's life awful? With Marilyn Manson's ex-girlfriend here, who's dressed like something out of Pleasantville for some reason, but other than What's that, it's just what are this. We, what are we, we doing? just decapitate them already! <laughs> so, see, now maybe if somebody killed them and this Here's became a Among Us. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. You know, everybody's trapped in there. They're all scientists or whatever. They have roles and stuff. Jesus, every time one of them kill speaks, the rations. I hear a child being Jesus murdered. Jesus Christ. I'm not They're going to ruin the entire like, experiment. Seriously, what I hear every time one of them talks. So the scientist That's what Walter, our Ruger's right there. I have my, my window open so I don't leave my gun in the night no right beside it. The idea being that while we are here, <sighs> you are there. Congratulations movie, you have me totally siding with the bad guy. Walter the Pat bad guy? Is he the bad guy? The more credible choice here. That's how bad we got. We can't just leave them then. They are a symbol of everything that is wrong. Yes. Captain, these men are a criminal violation of the Environmental Protection Act. I know e this seems EPA? incredibly unrealistic as scientists wouldn't usually Why is he using the force? murder, but I don't care. If it's Pauly Shore and Stephen Baldwin's yeah, murder, I'm okay it's with all it. for the greater good. Yeah. So they spend <laughs> several from? days practically starving to death when they come across an interesting discovery. What? The key. They can break out? Uh, huh? Nugget, you mean this airtight, totally concealed bubble could have been open this whole what, what, time with just what, a key that they left in the, in the back lock. glass door? Why? Ow! Ow! Th this blood hole is so bad it's actually physically hurting me! Ow! 
Is that the worst so, plot hole we've ever what do they seen? Do now that they're finally released out of their environmental prison? Throw a party, of course, as they invite everyone they know back to the biodome so they can have a rockin' good time. Why, because they're gonna the sneak in now? About it as some sort of Earth Day event where they Tenacious D? Don't say we didn't say the freaking dreams! Oh my god! Why are they comedy? in this? And now they're gone. Never see them again. It was a cameo. Wait, so they left Tenacious D to go to the Biodome? What? <laughs> oh, so I guess they all left the, the Biodome and left them in there. I don't think so. Bruce Lee, maybe next time. Steven Seagal, get in there. <sighs> Steven Seagal. It's so bad. Paradise. This isn't Cancun. This place is being destroyed. What you guys want is like a big environmental party. It is. You assholes. You assholes. But you're killing the biodome. Oh, okay. So after the party is over and they've destroyed pretty much everything We're the biodome is trying to accomplish. They tried to put it back together again by restoring Didn't all they the, the clean dot? air through just picking up everything. Great, that's like trying to fix Hiroshima by handing out band-aids. Do you have any idea how impossible they unleash the sun this place have twice? We're taking over this dog. We're all gonna die. I what? am acting. Y'all can just leave. Seriously, there's a, there's there's a door. Y'all can leave whenever you want. They just shot a clown. Back in to the left. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did they just show a clown Black. getting murdered? Elsewhere, the infamous biodome is back in the news. But why do we need to show that? No, you're actually trying to kill comedy, aren't you? You're trying to. Yeah, clowns are supposed to make you laugh. Everything that is humorous in this world. You're not going to get away with it. No, no. How much of this movie is left? 15 minutes? Oh, that's right. too much. I'm just gonna rush through it, thwarting your diabolical plan, you sick, sick, oh, fuck 15 me. minutes. Walter Peck goes mad and disappears for a while, but returns as the Unabomber. Literally, his hair Wait, goes long, he Unabomber? has a beard, and he gets explosives to try to blow up the place. He does oh, okay. this by combining nitroglycerin with coconuts. Just go with it, it'll be over faster. But his plan doesn't work, as the explosions seem to happen next to the coconuts instead of actually in them. But he also has a detonator and plans to use it to blow up the entrance. There's another door. What is the magic word? Please. <laughs> is it? The bombs blow Explodes. Up, but mysteriously and unfortunately, nobody is hurt. Uh, the boys reunite with the girls. Um, yeah, People confuse this experiment for a giant success, and Walter Peck ends the movie. What do you mean reunite? They could leave whenever they wanted to. It's Python. Brought to you by the worst of humanity. This is awful! I mean awful! All the funny is replaced by a giant cauldron of annoyance. You just can't comprehend how bad this movie is. It's just two really unfunny people doing really unfunny things uh, and confusing it for something really funny. It's not. I haven't it's... been aggravated by a movie like this for a long, long time. Also, and why are they bungee jumping? Considering the movies I've reviewed. Fuck this movie! Fuck this and somehow movie. it's still a better movie than Garbage Pail Kids. Which I watched last week. I'm a nostalgia crate. Did, he just, did, did he actually just bite the, the DVD? I remember it so you also, has he had that same prop gun all these years? I feel like... I feel like he has. They get Christopher Lloyd to say, I was frozen today. Why? Why did they get him to say that? Why? Bullshit! God. Her voice is... Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's so bad. But this was Biodome. I never knew this even existed. And uh, do, do I want to? I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it. I'm sorry. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to have to Google Biodome. You know, I had, it's a 1999 film. 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. 1% on TV Guide. 4.4 on IMDb. Box office of 13.4 million. Distributed by Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Why is it saying narrated by? Um, that's okay. There's Stephen Baldwin and Polly Shore. Wow, I think Stephen Baldwin likes to use Botox. Um, 
budget was eight and a half million and box office was 13.4 million which apparently for some reason the the budget doesn't include people are like a movie's a failure unless it makes like one and a half times the budget because the budget also doesn't it somehow for some reason the budget doesn't account for like marketing and putting it in theaters or something like that i have no idea it's really weird because you would think a budget would be the entire thing i'm not really sure this movie was awful i absolutely hated it i hate that it had any box office numbers i really wonder what the trailer looked like for this movie um i look forward to reading your comments let me know what the next video should be i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day but until next video take care and keep music we were